Alright guys, well here we are with uh, result time. It's been 10 days since I did the experiment. Um, we'll see if we take this experiment farther. Uh, I may do one other update video on the results here, but uh, we want to take a look at these results and see um, you know, what happened when you sprayed glyphosate uh, on, on your food plot seed at the time of planting and what happens when the seed actually gets wet uh, from the glyphosate. We did test the two uh, different percentages of glyphosate. We tested the 2%, which was 2 and 2 thirds ounce of glyphosate mixed uh, with 1 gallon of water. We also tested the 5%, which I believe was 6.5 ounces of glyphosate per gallon of water. Um, so we tested both those. Uh, when we take a look at the results here, I want you to pay attention to how many seeds uh, did not germinate in each pot. Um, you know, just visually take a look. Uh, I did count, I did try to count some, not the easiest thing to do, um, and also try to take a look at kind of the health of the plant, uh, of each individual plant, uh, when you look at each pot, um, just as a comparison, um, and first and foremost, let me say that, uh, this experiment is not to say that, uh, no-till, uh, food plotting does not work, because it absolutely does, especially with seeding. Uh, rolling and then spraying uh, the weeds to create a thatch. It absolutely does work to create a food plot, but um, I wanted to show in this experiment that in the process of doing that, if your seeds get wet or saturated by the glyphosate, is it going to kill them and keep them from germinating or is it even going to slow the growth and maybe the actual uh, seed is going to be compromised and maybe not create uh, the strongest of plant. That's kind of what we're we're looking at here. Um, so I'm, you know, I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, I've I've done this for years and it works. It it, it does. It does work in the right scenarios. Um, you know, with with us spraying the glyphosate, uh, you know, a lot of you may not even spray enough to really notice um, a huge difference in germination, but. For, I'm, I'm the type that I kind of like to spray kind of heavy. I like to get a good kill. So if I have a food plot that does not have a, a thick enough th thatch and I think that my uh, food plot seed could possibly be getting wet while I'm spraying, um, you know, this, this could possibly happen. I, so yes, not always um, the scenario that we're going to see when we're doing a no-till food plot. Um, but just to address the age-old question that glyphosate does not hurt your seed, that's what we're going with here. Um, and this is these results are just something you can keep in the back of your mind um, in future years when you're going to uh, you know create a food plot. Um, and maybe if you have a food plot failure, maybe this is maybe this could be why. Um, so let's just let's go and take a look at the results. All right, guys. Well, we were less than 24 hours after doing the experiment. Uh, I just wanted to come out and check up on it. Um, I was going to actually water these today, but we got a nice little shower, uh, just a little shower. Uh, probably about two hours ago so it was almost 24 hours we're talking maybe 20 hours ago we're talking maybe 18 hours so that should have gave the glyphosate plenty of time to dry so this is what I'm noticing same thing I noticed last year with the blue brassica seeds versus uh, the seeds that I did not spray yesterday I want you to look you can see seeds are already swelling up and opening in the, the seeds that I sprayed yesterday with the glyphosate are already starting to open up. Now if you go over to the seed that I did not spray yesterday, there's nothing. Nothing's swelling, nothing's opening up. So that concludes to my thought process last year that when you hit the seed with glyphosate, especially this blue seed, um, especially the brassica seeds here that, that has the, the blue covering on it, um, it actually gets activated by the glyphosate hitting it. So this seed thinks when it felt that glyphosate hit it yesterday that it was getting a little drink. Well, it was getting a drink, but with some chemical as well. So that's something, you know, here we are less than 24 hours, and this, uh, this blue brassica seed is already starting to crack open. Clover seed can't really tell. Um, it's real easy to tell in the brassica, but I cannot tell in the clover. So yeah, 
something to be mindful about this seed has cracked open in less than 24 hours um, after I sprayed it but but this uh, seed that I did not spray just threw on the ground um, has not cracked open yet now I imagine it's gonna crack open here soon since we got that nice little sprinkle so alright guys this is just just a day one checkup on it uh, this is just the observation we'll see what else happens all right, guys, here we are, day number two. Day number two. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Everything, uh, everything's definitely starting to crack open. Quite a bit of growth going on uh, with all of them, really. All the seeds are cracked. Trying to uh, you can see them just working their way into the soil. Clover's actually has really caught up. Uh, you see there's your clover. And all of it. I'm gonna come over here to our non-sprayed. And it's, uh, it's germinating really well, too. Let's go here. So we're less than 48 hours um, from the time of me spraying the 5% and the 2% um, and not spraying our uh, these two. And uh, they're all germinating. They're all germinating now. Uh, so they, they go pretty fast. Now, from my experiment last year, um, this is pretty much the norm. Uh, even the ones that I sprayed with glyphosate, they they did, you know, seeds did crack open. They tried to put a root into the ground, and then they just kind of stopped growing. Um, obviously, the ones that I did not spray uh, kept growing. So we're gonna see if this is a this is actually gonna happen here. If these are actually gonna grow, or if their growth is gonna be stunted um, by the spray or not, or maybe they're just not gonna do anything. Maybe they'll grow perfectly fine, uh, just like the normal seed. So. Uh, we're going to see here, just wanted to get you updated for day number two, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Alright guys, well here we are. Ten days since the start of this experiment. Um, this, this isn't, this, I don't know if this is going to be the final result, um, but this is, this is long enough to tell um, kind of the germination rate and, you know, how, how well the seed is actually going to do. But alright, here we go. This is our actual control here. Um, this is, you know, the seed that was planted without being sprayed by any glyphosate. So, let you kind of look here. Um, if you want to talk about germination rate, very high. I mean, I, there's only a few maybe seeds in there that I see that did not actually create a plant of some sort. That was the brassica I just showed you. Here's the clover. Uh, doing really well. Again, I really can't even, maybe one or two seeds that didn't actually uh, germinate. But the clover doing really well. Alright, let me bring in the 5% glyphosate mix, which was 6.5 ounces, I believe. Uh, let me bring that in so you can see the results of that. First one here, the brassica. First one here, the brassica. Check that out. Did get some germination. Some plants are growing, but I mean, we're talking compared to how much seed is actually there. Way less than uh, 50%, that's for sure. I mean, there's only a couple plants, and they, they look like they're, they're dying. They're, they're really struggling to grow. So we did get some germination, um, very little, and the plants that are growing are struggling. Let's check out the clover. The clover did a little better. Um, still a ton of seed that never germinated and some of these plants they are struggling. Uh, will they actually mature? You know I'm not even testing that but I I don't know. Um, but so and there's a ton of seed, ton of seed still that has not germinated. 
I'd say again probably less than 50 percent um, so there's that now um, here's the kicker here's the big one the big one that we really want to see uh, I'm gonna bring in the 2% which is 2.3 ounces of glyphosate mixed in the water let's bring it in and see how it did here's the turnips barely again way less than 50% and these plants are struggling uh, mightily so again you know would these actually even mature you know we got stems trying to leaf out but that's all we got and that's with only two percent here's the big one clover look at that horrible um, I mean only a few plants uh, actually germinated or only a few seeds actually germinated very few plants um, so yeah that was a bit of a shock to me that's the two percent to me this was supposed to do better than the five percent but it did not uh, my answer is how saturated you know was that seed did, did that seed get a little more saturated you know I'm not I'm not a machine uh, you know I'm human I could only spray so consistent but that uh, that is pretty low uh, for germination in my opinion so there is all three got your two percent here five percent here and you got your unsprayed clover here or you got your you got your unsprayed seed here so I don't know you tell me you tell me um, if glyphosate has an effect on the seed uh, I'm gonna say yeah um, it it does and I'm surprisingly I'm gonna say the amount of mixture the ratio of the mixture percentage of the mixture you have may not be a big deal um, you know the two percent did did worse in my opinion than the five percent did um, so it may not even have to do with the percentage that you've mixed in with glyphosate um, it, it may have to do with just how saturated the seed get well and here's the other test that I did that I did not uh, I did not include in the first experiment video but this is the seed both brassica and clover that I sprayed with only one ounce of glyphosate only one ounce of glyphosate that I put in per gallon um, of a water mixture and sprayed I did saturate this more uh, gave it a couple good sprays just to saturate the soil you know not a uh, not realistic not actually as realistic um, for a no-till food plot but this is just showing what happens this is after four days four days and there is nothing and I'm actually surprised that the seed didn't even tr attempt to crack open now when you saw when we did the initial test almost all the seed cracked open and, and started to form a root within you know 24 hours even less than 24 hours here we are four days away with only 1% glyphosate per gallon you know we're only 1% glyphosate one ounce per one gallon of water and this seed won't even open uh, very surprising to me actually I I didn't know so you know obviously this was saturated uh, but it's surprising to me that I mean I'm basically I basically sprayed water I mean it mostly was water that I sprayed and even that little bit of glyphosate has completely kept the seed from germinating all right, guys, after looking at the results, you know, you can form your own opinion. Uh, I have my opinion on it. Um, that is, if you get seed wet enough with really any any percentage of glyphosate, uh, it's there's a good chance that it's not going to germinate. Um, it could absolutely kill the seed, um, or it can definitely compromise, uh, you know, the way the, the plant actually grows. Um, so, I mean, that that's my conclusion from this. Uh, I just kind of wanted to try to bring some information out there, um, you know, for those that, that want to listen. Um, you know, it, it, like I said, it may not compromise our food plots at all. It is something that you hear people say that glyphosate cannot hurt your seed. Um, and, you know, I wanted to test that. But from now on, me personally, um, when I know I'm going to be spraying a plot uh, and planting into a plot where I'm not going to have a super thick thatch and maybe a little bit more bare dirt than I want, and I am still planning on spraying, 
Um, you know, I am maybe, maybe I'm going to spray two weeks, maybe a week ahead of time. Heck, maybe even a couple hours and just let it dry. That is something that I may be doing um, from here on, which actually the plots I did this year, I did spray them all beforehand. Um, so just something to consider, guys. You know, I was super surprised about the seeds that actually never germinated at all after four days of being sprayed with only 1% of glyphosate per gallon. Uh, you know, that's a super low, way lower than what most of us would spray for a no-till food plot. And the seed still did not germinate when it was saturated. You know, obviously I saturated that seed more than I did in the experiment, uh, gave it a couple swipes, because uh, I really wanted to see if saturation is the problem here. You know, the more saturated the seed gets, may not matter, it, it doesn't seem to matter what the ratio of glyphosate you use. Um, the more saturated the seed is, uh, the more likely it's not going to germinate. So I think that that's the biggest thing I learned here. I can give you guys another video update on how that seed is doing here in the next couple of days. Um, you know, to see if did it ever actually sprout. Uh, maybe I'll keep the other pots going. We'll see how the other pots do here. Um, you know, we're getting to the point now where there's so many plants growing in one pot that it's tough to judge, you know, how well does a plot actually grow that's been sprayed versus a pot that hasn't been sprayed. Um, but, you know, we'll see if the seeds do anything else. I highly doubt it based on my past experiments, uh, you know, with, with this. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be kicking out some more content. Uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, see you later.